is Munson with Munson Music, and we're going to talk about how you can play a song called Letting the Night Roll by Justin Moore. And it starts off with a cool intro on a G major chord, and we play G major. First finger goes the A on the second fret, second finger on the low E string third fret, and third finger on the high E string third fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds a G major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. Now you may also want to think about putting the third finger on the B string third, pinky on the high E string third, and kind of working that for your G major. And then from the G on the intro, we go to a D major chord. D major. First finger goes to the G second, second finger on the high E second, third finger on the B string second. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D major chord and it sounds really happy. Now you may also want to think about lifting off the second finger and making that a D suspended second, or adding in the pinky on the high E third and making that a D suspended chord. Kind of working that. And then from the D we go to an A major chord. The way you play A major. First finger goes to the D on the second fret, second finger on the G second, third finger on the B string second. And if you strum all those together, that sounds an A major chord and it sounds really, really happy. Now you may also want to dig on kind of lifting off the third finger and making it an A sus2. Or you can take the regular A and add in the pinky on the B third and make it an A suspended chord. Or you can kind of save some things around the A chord. Or if you kind of dig on that other G voicing, you could do an A7 sus where you do first on the second fret on the D, second finger on the G string second, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third, kind of working that for your A. And that sounds slightly unresolved. Um, but that can definitely be a cool option for the G to the D to the A if you're just starting out and that way you don't have to move three and four. There's a couple different strumming options you could use through the tune though. You want to think about just kind of doing downs through the intro. And it's almost like you do four plus four plus eight. G two three four D two three four A two three four five six seven eight. Or one of my favorite strum patterns for a four four like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So take the G and just tried that a lot. You'd have down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So if you applied that to the intro, you kind of half the G and the D. So you could do just a down, down, up on those two chords. And then we have the A with our whole pattern. is something called a 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot in the beat, right now we're dividing that beat into two parts with our down, down, up, up, down. One, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a 16th note is, is where you divide that into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite 16th note strum patterns is long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. And what I mean by that is if you take the G and do a down for four, one, two, three, four, one, that's what you're doing on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you're doing a down on one, down on three, up on four. So you're going one, two, three, four, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. And then on the third beat, you're doing up on two, down on three. So one, two, three, four, one, up, down, one, up, down, one, up, down. And then on the last beat, you're going down, up, down, up, right along with the one, two, three, four. So down, up, down, up, down, up, down. start off with that same idea, but then we start mixing up things with a B minor chord. When we play B minor, first finger goes across the entire second fret, and we'll talk about some easy ways to play this too. But then second finger goes to the B third, pinky on the, or third finger on the D fourth, and the pinky on the G fourth. And if you kind of strum all those together, that sounds a B minor chord, and it sounds really sad. Now you may also want to think about lifting off the pinky, making that a B minor seven, or another way to play B minor seven is to do first finger on the A second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the high E second. That worked out for your B minor. Or if you're digging on that other G voicing, you can do first finger on the A second, second finger on the G second, third finger on the B third, pinky on the high E third. That kind of worked out for your B minor. And the B minor kind of gets thrown into to kind of our chord progression through the verse. So we tried our verse with a down, down, up, up, down, up. We did kind of that G, down, up, down.
up between those ideas, actually. I'm kind of digging on that. B minor. First chorus, which kind of mixes up a lot of those things we're talking about. So we got G down, D down, B minor, A, G, D, A, G, D, A, B minor, G, D, A, or you might kind of do kind of a stop time idea on that. Day. And then from that first chorus, we go back into our intro. Now, one other thing I think about adding to the song is bass notes. And a lot of times on that first down of the down, down, up, up, down, up, you can throw a bass note in for the chord. So on the G, you'd have the low E for the bass. On the D, you'd have the D for the bass. On the B minor, the B the minor chord, you'd have the A for the bass. Bass, down, up, up, down, and on the A, you'd have the A for the bass. Our intro kind of mixing that up with, with kind of our bass down up up down up. You, you kind of have the G with the bass down D with the D bass down and the A with the bass down up up down G with the low E bass D with the D bass A with the A bass. Kind of an idea. Or if you're digging on the sixteenth, you could make it kind of a bass down down up up down down up down or bass bass down down up up down down up down up or bass bass down down up up bass down up. Adding bases, you'd have that G, D, A, G, D, A. So you want to kind of play around with those. And then from there, then we'd be going into our next verse. We mix that up with bases. We have that G, D, that up with basses, we'd have that G, D, B minor, A, G, D, A, we'd have G, D, A, D minor, G, D, A, and then from there then we go into a solo part that, that kind of matches our intro part. Kind of back on that G, D, A, G, D, A. And if you're kind of digging on, 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 on trying to play some lead to this too randomly, um, it's really in the key of D major. You've got D is, is what we call the one chord, and then the G is what we call the four chord, and the A is what we call the five chord, and the B minor is something called the six chord. So we're in the key of D, we got kind of a D, E, F, G is 4, A is 5, and then B is 6. <laughs> so, so because we're in the key of D major, actually a D major scale where you could start on the low E 10 and do kind of a 10, 12, 14 on the E, same pattern on the A string, and then if you go over one fret to the D string 11, you'd have 11, 12, 14, 11, 12, 14 on the, on the D and the G, and then you'd have 12, 14, 15 on the B string, and then 12, 14, 15 on the high E string. It's kind of your scale. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, re, mi, fa. Or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, kind of that scale. Or you could use a pentatonic scale and kind of use seven to 10 on the low E string. It's kind of a D major pentatonic pattern one. Um, so you'd have like seven to 10, and then seven, nine, seven, nine, seven, nine, seven, nine, seven 7-10 on the low E, 7 on the A, 7 on the D, D 7 on the G, 7-10 on the B, 7-10 on the high E string. Which kind of be your pentatonic. Or you can keep it major. You know, so you may want to kind of play around with those scales if you're digging on trying to play some lead. And then from there, then we'll be going into our, our last chorus. So we have kind of our G, E, D minor, A, G, D, A. Now, if you know the licks around these chords, too, you know, throw them in and kind of make the tune your own. You know, lots of ways you can kind of mix this up to kind of play out. And then from there, then we'll be going into our outro. 
outro parts, just like our intro, kind of G. But that's the basics of how you get strung through letting the night roll by Justin Moore. So good luck. <laughs>